Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Cassidy, I have a one-year-old named Eleanor, and my boyfriend is Roman. You're okay. You may or may not notice that I am in a different spot than I'm normally filming, and that is because we got a house. Um, we are renting a house. We're not buying a house, not quite yet. So yeah, I am currently in our new house. We just got the keys yesterday. So of course, I'm gonna be doing an empty house tour. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started with that. A little bit about the house. It is in um, a not so great area in our town, but it's not a horrible area either. It is three bedrooms, but it's only maybe a little over 800 square feet. So it's smaller, but it's got more bedrooms. Um, it's not smaller than our apartment, but it is a smaller house. That's basically, we're basically paying also what we were paying in our one bedroom apartment for this house. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And now I'm just gonna start with the tour. Also, I forgot my microphone. So I hope the audio is okay and not horrible. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the front door was right behind where I was just filming and this leads right into the living room. There is an awesome huge window on that wall. Right when you come in the door, this is initially what you see coming into the living room. There is a built-in shelf over here. Don't mind my stuff that's just laying there. I just had to get it out of Ellie's reach. Hey. Hey. Okay, so if you come in the door and turn towards the right, it is the first bedroom. This room has a window here and then a window there. And then a little cove area and the closet is here. All the closets are pretty small, which is unfortunate, but we're going to make it work. This is the closet. Just a normal, regular closet. This is the whole room. It's pretty spacious. I think this is gonna be our bedroom. So yeah, let's go on to the other rooms. All right, so if you go directly across from the front door, you have this little archway that leads you into the kitchen. Something that I did not notice about this house before we got it was that there is no dishwasher. So we will be hand washing all of our dishes. Um, that's gonna be interesting so it's got this awesome window right here which i love for like coming into the kitchen there is the flat top um stove right here the sink it does not have a disposal but it is a fairly big sink which is nice cabinets cabinets i used to think there was um not a lot of cabinet space in here but there actually is more in here than there is in our apartment um and then this nice huge counter space and then right where you're standing is where the washer and dryer will go. So it's gonna be interesting putting those in there, in here and seeing how cramped it is. Right behind, um, directly across from the kitchen area is the refrigerator. And I was thinking if we need to, we can put a, thank you Ellie, cabinet right here for more pantry space. So directly across from the kitchen is the bathroom. It's a pretty spacious bathroom. There's this big open wall right here that we'll probably put our little um, drawer organizer in. The counter, the back here with nice corner shelves already in it. Needs to be clean, but you know, just your average bath. And the toilet is over there in its little area. Eleanor, no ma'am. And there's a nice little toilet window. Here is the sink area. I think I'm going to put some like trim around that and make it look all nice. So then when we are exiting the bathroom, we see the kitchen and we walk out of the kitchen and immediately to our right is the last two bedrooms. So if you go left, you go into this room. This was the room that I initially thought could be ours, but I think we're going to use this as like a closet room slash plant growing room and whatnot. There's a nice tall window here. I love that one. And then over here is the back door. Um, the reason why we don't really want to use this one as our bedroom is because this is the closet. 
and there is virtually no space in there because of the water heater, so it just would not be good for us. The back door is right here in this bedroom, and if we open it, obviously it leads to the backyard. So there are steps that lead out to our backyard. It's a pretty decent sized yard. We're definitely gonna clean it up. There's a lot of cleaning that needs to be done. In the little back door space, there's also a window that it's not gonna focus on right now, but yeah, a small little window up there. Right across the hall is going to be Ellie's room, so we will go into there. It is a smaller room. It's the smallest room in the house, but it's pretty simple. Um, sorry, I know it just looks like a big wall. There is an air conditioning unit that we are gonna have to do something with to make that so she can't get the cords and stuff. Um, her closet is decent size, and then there's a little area over there. Maybe we can put storage and stuff like that, or boxes or whatnot. And then there is her closet. We are going to need to put another rack here to hang stuff, because this is just not a hanging rack. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. So yeah, I'm so excited for her to have her own room finally, and make it her own. So yeah, that's the house. It's not too big, like I said, but we love it and we're so excited and Ellie's gonna have her own room so she can get so she can get out of our room and have her own room and just have her own space and we can get her toys out of the living room and have a living room space and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Of course, I'm gonna be taking you guys along on this whole journey with us from moving in to it being completed and all of that good stuff. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified on all of the good things that we are going to be doing here soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a good day.